Hello, my name's Anne McIntosh. I'm Managing Director of EA Technology Analytical. Today I'm going to be talking about live tank oil sampling or LTOS. LTOS is a specialised technique to take an oil sample causing minimal disruption to the system from a ring main unit or extensible switch gear. From that oil sample, we return that to the laboratory, complete analysis on it, and that analysis is telling us whether that individual unit needs maintaining or not. Historically, owners and operators of oil filled switch gear have used a time based interval to determine their maintenance periods. LTOS uses the actual condition of the unit to optimise that maintenance period. Now, traditionally, this has ensured that we can extend maintenance intervals by only maintaining when the condition of the unit warrants it. This has um, involved major cost savings for the individual companies, as well as reducing the risk associated with over maintaining those units. One of the major benefits of LTOS means that you can take an oil sample causing minimum disruption to the system. This is because you only need to um, isolate and earth the test axis cover to allow us to get the sample from the main tank via that test axis cover. This means that the switch gear is part live during the sampling and therefore you need special adherence to written safety procedures um, and specialised equipment in order to take that oil sample. The sampling equipment is essentially in two parts, a reusable cover plate that sits over the top of the access cover and a disposable sampling syringe. The cover plate is specially designed for each type of switch gear it's used on. It effectively sits over the test axis probe and blanks off the main tank. There's a machined orifice in the centre of the cover plate into which you place a sampling tube connected to the syringe and you take a 50 millilitre sample of oil from about 5 centimetres below the oil line. Historically, people would use a 500 millilitre sample to take um, oil analysis. Here, we're only using 50 millilitres, mainly for a safety reason because we're entering a live tank, but we also determined that you can effectively determine the condition of the oil from that 50 millilitre sample. So the oil's returned to the laboratories here at EA Technology, and we complete moisture, acidity, electrical breakdown strength, and the solid contamination. From this analysis is what we're trying to do is identify where the oil is on the oil degradation curve. So the first test moisture that's injected into the titration cell and we get a very accurate determination of the moisture down to 0.1 parts per million. The life cycle of moisture on the degradation curve initially shows a very quick increase in the moisture as the oil tries to find equilibrium with its surroundings that is the materials within the tank but also the moisture within the atmosphere. Then, over the majority of the lifetime of the oil, that moisture stays relatively stable. But as the oil starts to degrade, we'll start to measure an increase in that moisture content. The second test we run is the acidity, and this is as measurement of the oxidation of the oil. It generally re remains stable over the lifetime of the oil, but as that oil starts to age and degrade, you'll see an increase in the acidity measurement. We then look at the solid contamination in the oil. This is achieved by filtering the oil through a very fine filter paper and collecting that contamination. The solid contamination then is identified using an optical microscope. And here we're trying to understand the nature and also the quantity of particulate on that filter paper. We can then further examine that and get a detailed analysis using the scanning electron microscope. This is telling us the origin of those particles, whether it be corrosion product, plating degradation, um, wear on the contacts and it's really this test that's given us a great indication about the condition of the materials within the switch gear. The contamination increases quickly as the oil is placed within the switch gear. It then reaches an equilibrium stage and for the majority of the lifetime of the oil the level of solid contamination is stable. And the final stage of the process is as the oil starts to degrade and oxidise it will start to get solid contamination generated and this will increase the level of solid contamination within the oil. The last um, test that's run is the electrical breakdown strength and this is the voltage at which you get a breakdown of the oil across two electrodes. The dielectric breakdown strength of the oil is very dependent on the level of water and the level of solid contamination in the oil. So as we place the oil in the um, switch gear, the solid contamination will increase rapidly and then it will remain stable over the majority of the lifetime of the oil 
but again increase rapidly as the oil starts to degrade and the moisture and acidity levels increase. So we now have got a schematic for the oil degradation um, within switchgear. It can show you the, the degradation in the very early stages that occur in the matter of weeks as the oil is placed in the switchgear and how that remains relatively stable over the lifetime of the oil until it starts to show an accelerated degradation rate. So from the results from the four tests that we've completed, we determine exactly where we are on that oil degradation curve. In the vast majority of cases, we get a pass, and that's telling us there's no significant degradation of the oil. And therefore, we can extend that maintenance period and retest the oil in five years. The next criteria that we may find is a retest. In this case, the oil is indicating some degradation, but not yet enough to warrant maintenance. And in this case, we would retest in two to two and a half years. The reason for the retest in two to two and a half years is because the time it takes for the oil to initially start degrading to the time it requires maintenance is five years, so we're halving that period. For the oil that's significantly degraded, we recommend maintenance, and this should be completed within six months. In extremely rare cases, we may determine that the condition of the oil is extremely poor and immediate action is required to um, maintain that unit. We've been offering the Altos service for over eight years now and it's been hugely successful. In the vast majority of our cases, it's enabled our clients to extend their maintenance intervals, but still ensuring that the equipment is safe and reliable. It's also reduced the risk to the operator due to over-maintaining. If you'd like to know more about Eltos and the benefits that it can bring your company, please contact us here at EA Technology Analytical.